when people they celebrate Christmas, better cry and I food let to state. Today, Senator Ningi does speak fire. He does speak the truth for the Senate House. May the word yeah, I they happen for play too. This is not the video that they keep and whether they talk too much. Share this video. Watch and may you hear the whole truth. And share this video. May the word this year. Even small children, bullet touch there. Nigeria. President, permit me to also say a word or two on this particular matter. I was in Bauchi, Mr. Senate President, for my Christmas break when the news broke out and instantly on behalf of the Northern Senators Forum, I moved into the plateau, had two sessions with the executive governor of Plateau State before paying a courtesy call with some members of the forum as to the gravity of what happened in Bokos. Mr. President, what happened in Bokos is unprecedented. It is unprecedented. Where you have a catchment of bandits, over 400 of them moving at a go. And when I sat with the governor, the stories I had was mind-boggling. First, there was a rumor of this attack. Second, the governor tried to make this information available. But they didn't take him serious. Sir, I was a Jute teaching hospital in Jaws. And you could see a three-month-old baby with a gun wound. Three months. Some actually beheaded. This is unprecedented. It is important, sir, like I always say, until we see the importance of security as the only survival of this country, we'll never move forward. We need to urgently, sir, call the security agents to question. There's no synergy. Forget that the IG was there. The station security are there. It is important that they are there. But where is the synergy? Sir, as we speak, Plateau State Government is in their need. It's in their need. Because right now, they are settling more than 150,000 IDPs. They are feeding them. The entire security architecture of the state they have fame for them. What was discovered? That these marooning bandits are not moving with weapons. Those weapons were actually domiciled in some certain locations. All they do is to come and pick them. That means there is something behind what is happening in Plateau. Who are these people? Who are these people and why are they doing it? Because you go there, sir, from the outside, you thought it's a religious war. None of it. There's something behind it that this Senate must need to unearth. It's a very terrible phenomenon, Mr. Senate President. We have forgotten our humanity. The, 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 the carnage you've seen, small arguments. So more differences. People will kill people in their thousands, in their dozens. And it doesn't take, uh, touch their, their, their conscience. Lastly, sir, what I have also discovered, because I spent 72 hours in Plateau, 
was the little information about those bandits. They are not living around the communities. Somebody imported them. Somebody escorted them. They don't even know the terrain. They were led by some people who know the terrain. And when you look at the communities, they are now sharply divided. Where Bokos, Barikiladi, even where there were crises, there is no way you will separate Christian and Muslim because they are intermixed. They are so intermixed. In a family like this, you have Christians and Muslims. They are so intermixed. But what happened on the Christmas Eve? On the Christmas Eve was something that needs to be investigated by security agencies. And it should not be just rhetoric. Talks, talks, talks. Sir, anybody who is assigned responsibility as a security chief to deliver, he must be shown out. The National Assembly are shown out after four years.